Hello, I'm Grumpy Lion 89 and welcome to Trial Run Democracy 3 Part 3. And we are just finishing where we left off. Our GDP is increased, unemployment is increased, crime is decreased, and poverty is decreased. So those are good things, GDP as well. The unemployment not so much. And I wonder why that is. Because something happened. Hmm. I think everything is the same. We have a surplus again. We're still, actually. And we did make a change in state housing, I believe. Let's uh, try and lower this a little bit again. And how is private housing? This one? Yes. Why did it have a huge dip? Oh, because of the rent controls. I implemented the rent controls before I uh, lowered state housing. All right. This is doing relatively well too. We need to keep an eye on our money because we barely have a surplus. And wiretapping is helping as well. This not so much. Well, I think that now we have increased our uh, education and we have we hand out some business grants that the unemployment should lower and eventually even this out. I think, I'm not sure. Crime is going down, the asthma epidemic is gone, is gone. Ban same-sex marriage. No, I'm not going to ban that. Let's have report. We have a surplus of 22 billion. 82% of vote. Election report. Election is getting closer. Alright. This is good. Good. This is going well, and this is going better. And I'm going to de decrease state pensions. Let's go with. Uh, Eight billion. And that money we're going to put into state schools. Eight billion. And maybe there is another way to help the elderly. today or now I don't want to completely remove state pensions but I think we should help uh, private pensions I think that's better this is all well something else I like to change 
this has uh, a big influence at, on the religious people. They should decrease, and I think we can. Oh, this is good too. Here you can see. What what what's changed in the time you were uh, the minister of the country, the prime minister? And let's see what's changed. Health has gone up, education has gone up, crime has gone down dramatically, violent crime gone down, poverty and equality stays the same, working week is going down. That's not good. With GDP, technology. Huh. I think we did go international trade, but that's because of that uh, thing that I implemented. I was calling and I looked it up later. Foreign relations decreased, poor earnings increased. I wonder if it means that they make more money or that the uh, membership of poor, poor earnings is increased. GDP stayed the same, and that was what I wanted to prevent. Well, I think overall we did relatively well. And here you can see how popular and unpopular most uh, policies are that you've implemented. Labor loss, there it is zero percent. Oh. Property tax, maybe we should get rid of that. Let's see how much it makes to does that. 16 billion. And I think that if we get rid of it, uh, this will decrease the homelessness as well. So maybe we should think about that. Corporation tax. Income tax. Oh, it's relatively high actually. Inheritance tax. Let's see, what can we do to increase the GDP? Capital gains tax, petrol tax, pollution control, science funding. Global economy, yes, we can't do anything about that. Well, here we can, here we get rid of, almost. Let's go to the next turn. Media backslash, and employment's going down, GDP's going up, amazing, great. Big surplus, polls report, election report. Well, I did something that I didn't like, was probably cutting down the pensions. I think this is good for now. Our overall health is relatively good. It's going down fast. This is going. Oh, it stalls. Intelligence service and. What if we increase this a little bit? It's not that expensive. They say that uh, England has the best, uh, one of the best secret services of the world. So then we should make it true, isn't it? Let's see, is there anything else I want to implement? <coughs> Food stamps. I think this will help poverty. 
yes let's do that we can miss it right now and it's going down but I think that is because unemployment was going down so let's uh, decrease this a little bit because international good trade is good for the GDP yes let's do it this like this and everyone is not happy and that's because the crime Ground. Is there something else I like to? No. Fuel efficiency standards, I think. I think this is a good thing to do because it reduces our oil demand and that will lower the price of oil and that is good for GDP so not much we can do right now child benefit I don't want to touch that state pension Let's uh, leave it as is for now. I've pissed off a lot of people uh, already, so. Credit rating is upgraded. Good for our GDP, poverty is going down. So that's good. All good. Both reports doing great. This is almost gone. This is going down as well. Yeah, I really don't want to increase this even further. Yeah. And actually I want to get rid of this later. Because wiretapping is one thing, but those cameras, I really don't like the idea. Violent crime is gone. Crime is still decreasing. And we still have a surplus of 40 billion. So maybe we should put put another 5 billion in here I think that's important so we have 22 left political capital I think this is a smart thing to do, we can handle the hit and it will increase productivity and education and productivity is good for the GDP and GDP is going up that's what we want uh, 
let's uh, lower this a little bit again and that's the last time I'm going to change something in here in this uh, term and employment is going down GDP is going up great and we still have a surplus of 60 billion We need to push it over the edge. So let's increase uh, intelligence services a little bit. Let's global economy is doing a little bit better. Technology backwater. Still going down. I thought I implemented adult education subsidies over here. It's not completely implemented. Good. Oh, we have a thingy. Appoint a UN ambassador. Our ambassador to the UN retires this year, and we need to name a successor as soon as possible. Much will be made of whether we appoint a hardliner who sticks up for the country or someone more able to compromise. Regina Phillips is well known as a patriot who will fight tooth and claw to get our interests represented at the UN. Seen as a popular choice amongst patriotic and more conservative citizens, she is historically against foreign aid and a supporter of import tariffs. She is not popular internationally. Upon Steve Harris. Steve Harris is a popular figure in the international state with a reputation for solving difficult problems through compromise and understanding. A true internationalist, he's popular with liberals and socialists in our society, as well as foreign leaders. Well, I think we go for the last one. And we hit next. And GDP is going up, education going up, crime going down, so overall we are doing pretty well. And here I'm going to end the episode. I thank you all for watching NFM Gaming. Bye bye.